Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and to this tutorial that I've created. It's called Painting Rainbows, Channeling the Light Within. And this is something that I highly recommend in the moment when you feel like giving yourself some self-love. Um, as we all know that the light within us um, needs to be channeled, nurtured and taken care of. And so I created this grid um, in one of my sessions. If you'd like to know more about my sessions, you can message me or connect through Instagram and attend one of them. But uh, this grid was created as part of a session where we were working on mirrors and um, that what is on one side of us comes reflects on the other side so that what is within us reflects outside in our physical world. So using that idea, I created this grid and started colouring it today with the colours of the rainbow. Because when you think of light, and when light is divided into the spectrum of colours, the rainbow is what we all know comes out. And so that um, is something that I'm channeling using this grid and the colours. I always say this, that let the colours come to you, rather than going towards them. But because you, I had a kind of idea of blues and reds and greens and yellows, so I followed a certain pattern through them using pencil colours. And um, I find it easier to use pencil colours when I'm in a bit of a rush and I only have like an hour or so for my meditation. So pencil colours are great because they don't, you know, spread around a bit. And um, once I did the pencil colours and I always go over it with the inks, just because ink has a very beautiful way of soothing my mind. Um, and once that happens, as you'll see, I change into a slower um, real-time video just to show you it's so satisfying and it allows us to come into the present by giving each stroke that love care and when you see this image it's not something that is just an image in the physical world for me it's a way I communicate with myself it's the way I give myself the time to be with who I am and allow that what I'm feeling inside of me come out on the sheet of paper so these are little conversations I have with myself and they help me to have a deeper understanding of who I truly am rather than absorbing that from what the world has told me about myself and how I've kind of unlayered using art and through these little activities that I've designed for myself and that I share through my sessions and if you'd like to join me um, you're most welcome to connect through Instagram like I said and as you see I go one layer at a time so I have colored with the pencil and then on top of that I'm going with the same color but with inks this is just a way of following the light the path of light the path of colors and understanding that it's already inside of us we just have to go over it the more slowly we do it the more slowly in contact we will be with our soul and slow is way better than doing it faster and enjoying like every stroke, every single stroke brings you into the present. And it's so magical when you give it your whole uh, doing this exercise. I really, really hope that um, one day you get to enjoy it and do it because painting rainbows, actually, when you're looking at it, when you're looking at all these colors in one place, you are activating that light within you. All those colors that are within you are getting activated as you paint them with intention attention um, and love and with the understanding that you are channeling something that is within you now um, most people struggle with the background and I started doing it with lines just because I wanted to be giving myself the freedom of creating lines and not thinking too much about it and just giving um, space which is different to how the rainbow looks. So in the beginning, I actually started with just straight lines. And then I realized, what if they were just haphazard lines? Because rainbow makes me feel like a child. And so I wanted to bring that inner child and the grown-up person that I am today together to work through my inner demons or the childhood traumas and everything. And then also recognize that where I am today is not where I was then. So channeling that also, that even though I'm grown up, 
um, even though I have to be in these certain formats of life and fit into the society mold and this, that and the other, I can still have space for me to play as a child. And that's giving yourself the freedom um, to just be. And when you allow yourself to just be, you recognize you are more than the being that you are seeing. You are actually the light that is coming through, the purity, the innocence, the realness, the authenticness that comes through. Um, generally, when I do these lines, there's one thing that goes in my head is commitment. So every space that you create, I follow a certain line, for um, a way a line is created, and then there is a commitment to completing that space with that one direction of line and it might seem very easy but actually it can get boring but you have to get through that stage when it gets boring and tiring you have to tell yourself it's a commitment you are committing yourself to self-love you are committing yourself to look beyond what you have been told and uh, taught and you are ready to face um, all your demons all your beauty everything all about you and bring that to surface because it's a commitment um, and act of self-love so I hope this really 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 uh, is something that you give it a shot and enjoy and um, do let me know either in the comment section or through my Instagram and I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you next time in the next tutorial have a beautiful day everyone lots of love light and peace your way